Hey everyone, welcome to Cities Lista. The Philippines is known for its stunning beaches, lush mountains, and vibrant cities. But did you know that the country is also home to some of the longest bridges in the world? From the scenic San Juanico Bridge to the impressive Cebu Cordova Bridge, we're exploring the top 10 longest bridges in the Philippines in today's video. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Starting at number 10, we have the Hector Mendoza Bridge in Pangasinan, with a length of 1,002 meters. This bridge connects the towns of Carmen and Alcala, making it a vital transportation link in the region. It was opened in 2002 and spans the Agno River. The Marcelo Fernand Bridge in Cebu comes in at number 9, with a length of 1,230 meters. This iconic bridge connects the cities of Lapu-Lapu and Mando, making it a vital transportation link in the region. It was opened in 1999 and has since become a symbol of Cebu's progress and development. Number 8 takes us to the Kansaga Bay Bridge in Cebu, spanning 1,250 meters across Kansaga Bay. This bridge connects the cities of Mando and Consolation, making it a crucial infrastructure for the local community. It was opened in 2010 and has since reduced travel time between the two cities. Number 7 takes us to the Patapat Viaduct in Ilocos Norte, with a length of 1,300 meters. This viaduct is an engineering marvel, built on a cliffside to connect the towns of Pagadpud and Adams. It was opened in 1986 and offers stunning views of the surrounding landscape. At number 6, we have the Bunton Bridge in Cagayan Valley with a length of 1,369 meters across the Rio Grande de Cagayan. This bridge is a crucial infrastructure for the local community, connecting the cities of Tuguegarao and Solana. It was built in 1970 and has since been a vital transportation link in the region. The Narciso Ramos Bridge in Pangasinan comes in at number 5, with a length of 1,448 meters. This bridge connects the towns of Asingan and Santa Maria, making it a vital transportation link in the region. It was opened in 1990 and has since been a vital infrastructure for the local community. Number 4 takes us to the Cebu South Coastal Road Viaduct, spanning 1,501.41 meters across the Mactan Channel. This viaduct is a vital infrastructure for the city of Cebu, connecting the South Road properties to the rest of the city. It was opened in 2003 and has since reduced travel time between the city and the airport. The San Juanico Bridge in Eastern Visayas comes in at number 3, with a length of 2,160 meters. This iconic bridge connects the islands of Leyte and Samar, making it a vital transportation link in the region. It was opened in 1973 and has since been a vital infrastructure for the local community. Number 2 takes us to the Candaba Viaduct in central Luzon, spanning 5,000 meters across the Pampanga River. This viaduct is a crucial infrastructure for the North Luzon Expressway, connecting the provinces of Pampanga and Bulacan. It was opened in 1976 and has since been a vital transportation link in the region. And finally, at number 1, we have the Cebu Cordova Bridge, spanning an impressive 8,900 meters across the Mactan Channel. This bridge is a vital infrastructure for the city of Cebu, connecting the islands of Cebu and Cordova. It was opened in 2022 and has since reduced travel time between the two islands. There you have it, the top 10 longest bridges in the Philippines. From Hector Mendoza to Cebu Cordova, these bridges connect communities, drive growth, and enhance infrastructure. Which one is your personal favorite? Let us know in the comments below. 